Good evening, and welcome to eFilms Travel. I am Clay, behind the microphone, and this is my first video essay. And you will have to excuse me as I have COVID while recording this video. Stay tuned for a ravishing quick history of a 95-year-old theater building that can't seem to get renovated in South Central Pennsylvania. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like this video, and subscribe to see more content in the future. And now a word from our sponsor. Oreos. They're really good. Now I was not planning for this video to be super long, but I hope this topic will spark some interest and maybe encourage me to make a mini documentary. The State Theater, aka Hanover Theater, in Hanover, Pennsylvania has been in the back of many Hanoverians' minds for quite some time. I drove past this theater in a couple of my videos, and my friends and I made fun of the marquee that now says this place maters uh, due to a missing letter. So now I am digging further into why this place maters. But first let me quick explain where I have been the past four months. After our first year of living in central Florida, my wife and I decided to move back to Pennsylvania. See, we are torn between at least three states and areas we enjoy living. And I have a family member that is battling cancer. We had an opportunity to move close to them, so we took it. We settled into a new home and some new jobs, and we are staying in Pennsylvania until we decide otherwise. So naturally, you will start to see again more videos about small towns and overlooked places in the northeast of the United States. I am starting to get back into the habit of posting every other Tuesday, so hopefully I can make it work in my new schedule. Enough about me, and on with the video. Sometime in mid-September 1928 was the grand opening of the State Theater in downtown Hanover, Pennsylvania. Designed by an architect named William Harold Lee and decorated by French artist Arthur Brunet, this theater was meant for silent movies and live performances. There was a Wurlitzer two-manual eight-rank pipe organ, which pales in comparison to the organ inside the St. Matthew Lutheran Church around the block. Apparently, Hanover had a thing for organs, and in 1925, the church dedicated a 5,000 pipe organ with 87 speaking stops, and over the years, the organ was expanded to become one of the world's top 10 organs with 14,470 pipes 238 ranks and 22 digital stops with MIDI. It has MIDI. If you don't know what that is, you can look it up. I guess in 10 years, uh, they'll add like a fog machine and a disco ball. Anyways, the ownership of the theater from 1928 to 1984, some say 1986, changed multiple times throughout the years. There is not a lot of information on the internet about the history of the theater, and some of the sources are conflicting. But from what I found in the 1930s, Warner Brothers owned the theater until about 1950, when William Goldman took ownership. Then in the mid-1960s, the state was renovated and renamed to the Hanover Theater. In the early 1980s, the Fox Brothers gained ownership and then sold the theater to an antique dealer around 1986. 
and after this time in history, the Hanover slash State Theater would remain closed until further notice. The antique dealer never accomplished renovating the theater into an antique mall and instead used the space as a warehouse in 1991. The theater was sold yet again to a company called the Historic Hanover Theater LLC and they were a holding company and this purchase was made around 2007. A restoration organization called Casual Arts uh, recognized the ornate and rare designs of Arthur Brunet and apparently there's only two standing Brunet uh, decorated buildings in existence today. Um, so the organization Casual Arts, they desired to restore the building to its former glory. The agreement was for Casual Arts to raise the funds for the revitalization project. But I am assuming they abandoned the project due to the 2008 recession. There is an article mentioning they wanted to wait for more support for the revitalization of downtown Hanover, but the lack of support was probably due to the recession. The theater remained in this state of limbo until 2020. The Preservation Pennsylvania organization did add the building to their Pennsylvania at risk list in 2011. The list notifies the local and statewide communities of historical buildings that are at risk for modern development or vandalism or decay and modern development meaning like stores or apartments that would be built in its place that would strip the building of its historical relevance and beauty. An organization formed in 2013 called Main Street Hanover, which involved you know, the Hanover Borough, Hanover Area Chamber of Commerce, Partnership for Economic Development of York County, and the York County Economic Alliance. Main Street Hanover desired to revitalize downtown Hanover with the help of multiple community organizations. They became a nonprofit in 2018 and were so successful with their revitalization, they copyrighted their plan. They called it the Main Street Four Point Approach, which includes organization, design, economic restructuring, and promotion. The York County Economic Alliance, which I mentioned earlier, loved the results so much they basically said, hey, let's do this for every downtown in York County. If you're looking for advice on how to revitalize a downtown, Main Street Hanover may be the people to call. Here is a direct quote from their website. The mission of Main Street Hanover is to expand the economic capacity of downtown Hanover, thus improving the business environment, enhancing the quality of place, and increasing community synergy. Anyways, this is relevant because in light of the downtown Hanover revitalization movement, interest in the Hanover State Theater grew. Despite the pandemic and the unknown future of mass gatherings, shows, performances, the theater found itself a new owner. And somehow things got even more complicated. So local newspaper, The Evening Sun, published an article in 2020 stating that local business owners signed an agreement to remodel the Hanover Theater. And I might be butchering these next people's names, but Jordan Elias renovated another historical building in Hanover 
the McAllister Hotel and turned it into luxury apartments. So now he's signing on to renovate the Hanover Theater. Then we have Robert Godfrey and Andrew Diagenet, who own a restaurant in York called The Handsome Cab. So Jordan, Robert, and Andrew all signed the purchasing agreement with $2,000 down on the $240,000 Hanover Theater. In the article, they explain their rough plans for the theater and how nothing is guaranteed. They need funding and a parking solution, which could be resolved through a public-private partnership. During this time, the three partners make a Facebook page about the project and start to post photos of the inside of the building that most people have not seen for many years. By 2022, the Facebook page goes quiet, and there is no visual headway made on the outside of the building. Another Evening Sun article is published in May, this time stating that the historic Hanover Theater is now publicly owned and will be redeveloped. And the new owners are the Redevelopment Authority of the County of York, Hanover Economic Development Corporation. We'll call them the HEDC. And the Borough of Hanover. The article reads, HEDC secured funding to purchase the building from the J. William Warheim Foundation and the Redevelopment Authority plans to transfer the property to HEDC during redevelopment according to a release. There is a for sale sign out front of the theater and quote, HEDC will issue a public request for proposals from qualified firms interested in redeveloping and eventually acquiring the theater. And that is the latest public knowledge about the current status of the Hanover State Theater. So I obviously have some questions. Like, are the three partners, Jordan, Robert, and Andrew, involved in the revitalization anymore? Or did they quietly leave and let the local governments, organizations, acquire the theater? Either way, this is a 14,000 square foot historical property in downtown Hanover and the local community and government are now on board to revitalize it. This actually might happen this time. So let me know in the comments anything you know or remember about this theater and let me know if you would like a mini documentary about the theater and the story behind it. Myself and many others who crossed paths with this building would love to see the theater open as a community center for movies and performing arts or live events. The architect William Harold Lee designed many theaters throughout the North Northeast. One of them is the restored Majestic Theater in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, which was a pretty cool experience when I visited a few years ago. Hanover would definitely benefit from a theater, a cool one at that, in downtown. Really, anything open in downtown is cool at this point. Eventually, we can be more picky as downtown Hanover becomes more busy, but the Hanover State Theater is a great option. Surprisingly, Hanover has a solid theater community with multiple companies and performances at the Eichelberger Performing Arts, for example, and the Hanover Little Theater. The local school districts put on 
fairly impressive shows as well. But I know the Hanover State Theater would be a great additional performing arts center that Hanover has been missing for many years. It can truly become an icon again for what it is and not for what it was. Or maybe a little bit of both. I don't know. We seem to really relish the past. Thank you for all the support on this channel. As always, I love hearing from you and I am happy to announce that at the time I'm making this video, this channel has 100 subscribers. In a terrible live stream we did a while ago, my friend Tim promised a haunted house tour if we reached 100 subscribers. I am not sure yet what we will do to celebrate, but you'll know when it happens. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to see more in the future. If you really like the video, you can always buy me a coffee using the link in the description. And now it's time to turn off your device and go explore something. Okay, see ya.